Hey friend, it's been a little while since I did a room tour, desk tour, my setup tour. Uh, so today I thought I would do one for my Sydney studio with a few first impressions of a few things uh, that I have set up so far. If you were lucky enough to watch me put together my new OmniDesk Ascent uh, sit-stand desk, we had a very good time. Unfortunately, some of the audio got ripped from that recording in the VODs, so enjoy a little bit of time-lapsed footage um, of chaos. The desk, I have to say, is awesome. 10 out of 10. I love this thing. Like the size of it is perfect for this space. And there's also still enough desk real estate where I can put all of my stuff there properly. It was easy enough to put together just with me, although... I have lifted weights before. If you haven't, definitely suggest having at least two people to help you out. <laughs> and also, I think that the instructions are probably a little bit backwards. Like, definitely just put the tabletop down first, okay? Just like carpet, something, the cardboard, tabletop, and then sort out the legs. It was super easy to set up, runs really smooth, goes up and down really smooth. I'm sitting at it right now. My feet are touching the floor. I'm five foot two, by the way. So for you short kings, queens and non-binary friends, definitely recommend. It also goes, when you lift it up all the way, I think there's a clip of it coming about up to my neck. <laughs> so if you're really tall as well, it'll even suit you standing too and most people in between. Um, so yeah, I love this desk. Oh, I'm using the monitor mount as well, which is great, but, and I'm not sure if it's just me, the, it has two USB ports in it. And I think that they're actually meant specifically for charging only and not for data transfer. I don't know if that's actually the case. If I had a powerful enough computer to connect them to, that might be a different story. I will have to look into that but I'm just using a laptop which has a limited amount of USB ports plus I have a bunch of USB hubs to plug into that and so nothing has enough power to route through the hubs to do anything. I can't even connect my phone to transfer my footage from my phone to my laptop so I have to do it through Google Drive. We're working it out. It's fine. If any PC grants out there want to work with me for a new recording rig, Let's a go. Otherwise, I'm using a um, I'm using a, a dual laptop setup uh, in Sydney right now. Oh, the cable management bar. It was so easy to install and so easy to just lay all the cables into it. It it's beautiful. I it just it just works. It does what it's intended to do. The only thing was make sure if you're using an XLR mic like I am. Do not lay the XLR cable together with all your other cables. Let it hang. Let it do its commando thing because um, you'll get interference and buzzing in your microphone if you do that. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, the laptop stand. Lifesaver. My laptop gets really hot um, with the amount of processing that it has to do. This laptop stand has been awesome. It doesn't budge. It's like quite weighty. Uh, and heavy, so love that. And then there's the anti-fatigue mat, which I really wanted to love, but my body does not. Yeah, my knees are dying from this mat. Come on, level 10, please let me out of prison. I do appreciate, I like having it, but I think that if you are someone who doesn't struggle with uh, hypermobility like I do. If you don't have issues with, with maintaining your posture in general, then it will be really great for um, from stopping your, your feet from fatiguing and like not having pain from like hardwood floors or something like that, just having some padding underneath you. But for me, especially because I have it on top of the carpet as well, it would keep shifting. The mat was in the middle and now it's over there. <laughs> I'm going to try to reuse it in the booth potentially depending on what kind of setup I end up putting in there. So TBC. 
We're losing daylight. It's golden hour, so we're going to try to get through this as quickly as we can. Uh, we also have Elgato. Thank you, Elgato. Love you. You're the best. This microphone, the Wave mic, awesome, does its job. The Wave panels that we have all over the place. I also have a bunch of additional um, padding, which I explained about on stream. I will insert a clip. I set up the Elgato wave panels the other day when we were playing World of Warcraft. And I did a little before and after comparison, but the thing is that this room is very small, very square and very bare. And those three things together is not good for the sounds. The Elgato wave panels, 10 out of 10, they're so freaking good quality and they they do an amazing job of like dampening and and stopping reflections of sound and stuff absolutely it's just that this room needs like a lot of work um to to kind of handle all of that stuff so if you're someone who has like an already furnished room so like you stream from your bedroom or you have a, like another office or a living area that has like rugs, blankets, um, couches, you know, clothes, wardrobe, that kind of stuff. And then you just have like some bare wall um, here and there around you that can cause a little bit of echo. Yes, that is why. We are still a little bit echoey in here because of that reason. This room is still super empty. But yay, awesome. This is the low profile mic arm. It is perfectly situated between um, the monitor stand on the Omni desk and my keyboard. Whoopsie, I loosened her up a bit. It's all right, we're back. We have the Wave XLR interface, which is super easy to use. You can mute and unmute and change the mix that you're getting in while you're monitoring like that is so awesome um love that plus like the volume toggles and everything you can literally just touch the back of the thing to mute yourself that is awesome what the heck uh also i'm recording on the elgato face cam right now that is what this looks like in my current setup i have a window over here I'm lighting myself with a key light air behind this as well. Um, and uh, you'll notice that it's getting darker as this video progresses because the sun is disappearing as we speak. <laughs> but it's nice. I like it. It's a, it's a nicer chill vibe that we have. Mm, what do you think? I also have the Stream Deck Plus. We've got some knobby knobs and some buttony buttons. I have been having a couple of glitches with that where it seems like some of the buttons just intermittently stop working. I don't know if that's because perhaps where I have it plugged in or um, if it's like that hub issue that I was talking about earlier potentially. So stay tuned for that. I do love it. Otherwise, I would be lost without it during my streams. <sighs> I think that's everything. And that's the setup I currently have in my Sydney studio. So if you have any questions about it, hit me up. Otherwise, I'll see you in the stream when I see you or in comments wherever your preferred platform is. So I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> what was I saying again? It's getting too dark. Is it getting too dark? I look like I'm dying, don't I? Nah, it's fine. I was like, hey, maybe you should do some makeup for this. But no, she's a, she's a natural queen. It's fine. Okay, bye. Well, shit, maybe I should have just recorded the video like this. Now it looks so much better all of a sudden. Son, why have you forsaken me? Oh, well, we've already done the video, so thanks for coming. I guess I'll see you next time. Maybe I'll do a quick stream since suddenly the lighting's looking schmicky schmick.
Uh...